Hello, good morning, happy Friday. It's probably like 6 a.m. for you guys right now, not even. No, yeah, it's probably like 6 a.m. Um, it is 12.30 for me, and I'm meeting up with my friend at 2.30 to start our tapas crawl. Little background, I have been fasting for a week, and this was more of like a spiritual fast. I basically didn't really do anything but stay at home. And basically what I decided to fast were restaurants and like just eating out in general and also like TV. So I have not watched like actual television. And let me tell you, it was a little hard, the restaurant aspect, because you guys know I love eating out. I love restaurants, but I think sometimes I do distract myself a lot. And if I just feel like I'm a little bored or like a little antsy, I'm like, okay, what restaurant can I go to? Anyway, that's just a little background story, but today we are going on a Spanish tapas crawl. All the spots I've never been to before. There's one that's been on my list since I got to Madrid and I have not gone yet because I'm waiting for a special occasion, I guess. But it's supposed to have like the best tortilla. Now I got a super good workout in at 45 today this morning. <laughs> And so I wanted to get like my metabolism going just because I know that we're gonna eat a lot on this little crawl. Life hack, life tip, if you're gonna eat a lot in the day, make sure you boost your metabolism in the morning, get it going. I am ready to eat all the things. So if you guys are ready, let's go. She has arrived, woo, are you ready? Isn't it crazy that it's been like a week since our last Tinto de Verano, which feels like forever. Cheers to our Spanish tapas crawl. Cheers. So they're famous for the potatoes, las patatas bravas. One through ten, what would you rate them? Yeah, I would say like a like a seven or eight too. <laughs> All right, this is the first spot coming out. Yeah, next spot, Juana de Loca. Um, no, I think that is the entrance. <laughs> this is where they're famous for their tortilla. <laughs> Is it? Is it pinto Yeah, this one's good. This one's actually good. Yeah. yeah. Not like the one from Jenny with the Malo. Oh, really? Well, I thought it was better than the one before. Let me just like send us What's up? There's no way that one did not have flavor. No, I like it. One more time. I'll give it a seven. A solid seven. No, it's not one. I mean, but you are the Tinto de Verano connoisseur. Here we go. Lots. Mm, yeah. Okay, here I go. Really? Mm -hmm. It's creamy. Guys, I like love onions so much. A mí no me gusta y esta me gusta. This is a ensalada rusa con de río. Oh, fancy. <laughs> we're not really sure how to cut this, but we're trying. <laughs> Just, yeah, like saw it real hard. You got it? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Ready? It's very different. Sí, pero me quedo con la tortilla. But how much was it? Eh, dinero. Yeah. Eh, 10.90. 10 euros. So for like 11 dollars, it's a little pricey. But it's good. But I don't know if it's worth it. Do you think it's worth it? Uh, porque la tortilla 
la tortilla cuesta cuatro, cinco. Right, so the thing that they're famous for is like five dollars, and this is like a little bit. A ver, it does have fresh little crab on it. Not just any crab. What was it? Crab de Rio. River crab, whatever that is. <laughs> and and uh, trout, right? Uh -huh. Trout roe. So, there you have it, folks. Crab de Rio. Crab de Rio. <laughs> so, I do feel very European with my little... <laughs> with my little ballet flats. <laughs> Dude, I haven't had shoes like this since I was in, like in fifth grade. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> the Terry Birch. Yes, literally. Dude, it feels so good. It's like it's not hot. It's breezy. It's amazing. Siganme. Let's go. <laughs> Two tinto de veranos in. <laughs> okay, this is not on our Spanish tapas crawl. But if you want to add it to your crawl, so you could add this on your stop because it's one of my favorite, favorite tortilla spots. Yes, 10 out of 10, literally. I think they also have like a four cheese one that's super good. And then they have one with morcilla or something else. That probably has my favorite um, tortilla. Because Mine too. they're different, you know, and like who doesn't love a brie and truffle anything? I think this place is closed. I think it's permanently closed, like it's set on Google. <laughs> Do you see it? I don't see it. <laughs> so basically this place had like a little, I don't know what they're called, but it's basically a skewer with like anchovies and olives. There's a name for it. I'll, I'll think of it and I'll write it here. But we saw on Google that it was permanently closed, but we came because sometimes like the places lie or like Google isn't updated. But turns out it actually is close. <laughs> so I guess we'll just go to Casa Victor. Casa Victor? Yeah. In Casa Victor, they have croquetas, which are honestly my actual least favorite Spanish dish. But Dani likes them. So we're going to go try them out. Oh. <laughs> Wait, until what? Oh, dude, it's because we took too long. Okay, so then what's the other one? Wow, this is the worst Spanish problem. Okay, this is una, ¿cómo se llama? Torrija. De leche. This is, it's kind of like a bread pudding. And then this one is wine. They're pretty big desserts. And they're warm. Yeah. It tastes like the French toast that I made. Mm -hmm with Ezekiel bread, <laughs> with the raisin kind. It literally just tastes just like that. Ezekiel bread, the raisin one, mm -hmm. that's what this tastes like. <laughs> so this is the milk one. So are they the best? No. Definitely not. Pero bueno, pasable. What are we gonna give this? I think I'll give this either like a three or four. A three. <laughs> Dude, but it's like nothing. All right, that was our, this is not the end of our crawl, but it is the end of today. Yeah, so we did not obviously hit up the spots that we wanted, but it's fine. I will put the recommendations in the bio. You guys can check them out. I guess this is like real life and real life is that those places were closed and we got there too late. Okay fam, so we did not finish the crawl the other day because we got at it way too late and when we got to the places, they were closed. So we're trying to go to the spots that we did not hit up last time today. So yeah, we're gonna finish our tapas tour because I will not let you guys down. Okay, so we have arrived to Casa Revuelta. Last time we were here it was closed and we looked like idiots just standing outside waiting to see what our next move was, so I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> we're back. So we finally made it. 
All right, we have Tinto de Verano per usual. Salud. Give us your your rating of this one. Bueno, ligero. <laughs> and then we got what they're famous for, which is bacalao. Bacalao. So just cod. So fried cod. Mm -hmm. And then I got a little tuna empanada. And then you got croquetas. Too. But they're known for this. So we have to try this. Okay, and then las croquetas. But these are ham croquetas. So you like them. I think it's the only Spanish dish that I don't love. Okay, try them all. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's true. They're always so hot too. You should bring them here. Here we go. No, it's good. Mm. <laughs> I actually like this one because I went to another one that it's famous and it was too oily. But I feel like this one's not as oily. It's a little bit more fresh. Um, so clearly, the Tinto de Verano connoisseur called it an Agua de Jamaica, so, so maybe it's not the place to get Tinto de Verano, but it was good. It was just like, yeah, it was very light. It was like soda. I was drinking soda, essentially. We paid 16 euros, so $8 each, and we only got what you saw, which was two croquetas. croquetas. Un bacalao, one cod, fried cod, and what else? And one empanada. Little empanada, like a small empanada. And then our thing goes bad. That's not bad because, like, the thing is, like, it's a big piece of fish. And I think the fish alone costs, like, $4.50. So, yeah, it's not bad. I, and I actually really did like that place. I think out of all the places that we've been to, I, I really liked the cod there. And I like the atmosphere. Like it's very clean, very spacey. Mm -hmm. So, see, yeah. Bye so yeah. we approve. We actually do approve that spot. Not like the bread pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Any last words? What was your favorite out of all the places? What was your favorite spot? Buena la loca. Buena la loca. <laughs> you would. The bougiest place. <laughs> I think for me. All right, let's go. I think for me, my favorite spot was... I really d did love the food at Casa Revuelta. I think that place has probably some of the better Spanish tapas that I've had. And then Juana de Luca, so. Try them out. Okay, so I think with those stops, you will be really full. I'll definitely add some other like spots that you can try out, but... I think more than three tapa places is like way too much, right? Or what do you think? See, sí. yeah, yeah. Like I feel like you're just like generally full. So unless you just have food and no drinks at each place, then maybe you can do it. But honestly, after three, you would be pretty much completely full.